Mom, tell me the story again of Grandpa, please, Colt begged as he and his mom stood in the rising sun. Laughing, Mom replied, Grandpa was the donkey of a man named Joseph, and there was a journey that he got to take. Now, Grandpa didn't know what was going on. All he knew was the woman that sat upon his back was going to have a baby. He did his best to be steady with her as they made their journey. His master, Joseph, led the way. There were many places that they tried to stay, but they ended up all staying together in the stable. You mean the humans stayed with Grandpa? Colt asked. They sure did, son. And it was the most amazing night. Joseph's wife, Mary, gave birth to a son. And Grandpa watched as shepherds came and bowed down to worship the baby, Jesus. Grandpa was in awe of the child. He was so sweet and would smile when Grandpa would snort. And that was Jesus, right, Mom? Colt asked. Yes, son. Grandpa was the one that carried Jesus, Mom replied. Wow, I wish I could do something awesome like that. No one has ever ridden me. I never get picked to go on the journeys or take the master to the market, Colt said upset. Son, you just wait. Just like Grandpa had a job to do, so do you, Mom said. Some men began walking up to Mom and her Colt, and Colt quickly asked, Mom, who are those men coming? Mom, why are they untying you? Where are they taking you? Colt asked, concerned. Who's asking for this donkey? The master asked the men. The Lord needs them, the men replied. The Lord, Colt thought to himself. Mom, you get to be used by the Lord just like Grandpa. We need the colt too, the men said as they began untying Colt. Come on, son, follow the men and do what they say, Mom said. Why do I need to go, the colt thought to himself. No one has ever ridden me before. The men came to the entrance of the city, and there he was. Mom, the colt whispered, is that Jesus? It sure is, son, Mom replied. Wow, he's even better than I imagined, Colt said to himself as he gasped for air. He let out a big snort. Jesus turned his head and walked over to Colt and pet him on the head and said, laughing, Well, excuse you, buddy. That snort sure sounds familiar. Do you think he remembers? Colt thought to himself as he remembered how baby Jesus would laugh when his grandpa would snort. They began throwing fancy robes onto Colt's back, and the men and the Colt and the mother, Jesus got onto Colt's back. Colt felt as though his knees began to lock. I'm carrying Jesus. What do I do? I've never been ridden before, Colt thought to himself. Jesus leaned over to Colt's ear as if he heard his concern, pet the side of Colt's face and said, Come on, buddy. You've got this. Colt began to step and walked into the crowd of people cheering. Those in front began throwing their robes on the ground and the crowd was waving palm branches. Colt made sure every step was steady. After all, he was carrying Jesus. They made it to the end of the street, and the men that untied the donkey and her colt in the beginning began walking them back to their stables and master. Mom, did you see that? Colt asked. I sure did, son, Mom replied. I carried Jesus, Colt said with excitement. You sure did, and you did a great job, Mom said as they made their way back into the stables. Colt kept replaying every step in his mind for the next week, and then another crowd began to form. But this time, there were no robes or palm branches. Everyone seemed angry. Mom, what is going on? Colt asked. Son, it's Jesus. They're taking him to be crucified, Mom replied. What? He didn't do anything wrong, Colt said upset. No, he didn't. But this has to be done, son. But why? Well, just like you carried Jesus on your back, Jesus will carry the cross on his. He will die and pay the price for sin. Could I help him carry it, Mom? Colt asked, starting to head into the crowd. No, son. This is what he has to do, Mom said. Just like Granddad did his part, you did your part, and now Jesus is doing his. Wow, Mom. I pray these people realize how important his part is, Colt said. Me too, son. Me too.